quiet please, quiet please. Yeah. Director, director. Yes. Q1. So, so while I'm listening to that, right, I've been messing around with that, trying to get it to sound a bit better. This is all rubbish equipment, right? It's not my iPad, as I've said loads of times, but it does have the ability to sound reasonable. We've got some 15-inch bass units there that's set with this equaliser at just really low frequency. As you can see, it's tailoring off on the high frequencies and he is running the mid-range no bass whatsoever and he's just running these speakers these castles right and the uh, this amp here uh, is driving these 15s right so while i'm messing around with that sounds terrible on that by the way i uh, i noticed the other day that we've got a serious technical problem with the workshop there um, this is my uh, workshop light, as you know, and I've been noticing some iron filings coming down here. I've just vacuumed them up, believe it or not. And then I heard a clunk the other day as I uh, went to move it, and I thought it had snapped. That's the bolt that goes through horizontally. Right, can you see that? It goes through horizontally there, and you've got two spaces. You know what I mean? And there'll be one in the middle there, obviously, and one stop it crushing itself as you tighten it up. But uh, anyway, it's completely gone out of shape, as you can see. But I thought it had snapped, but it hadn't. It's just literally just come and done at uh, this end. And, uh, you know, I've got the nut somewhere. Oh, it's, I think it's in the other room, the nut. Yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do now is strip it down. It's even come out of its mountain here, look. Ready to collapse, it's ready to collapse. Some ballast is inside there for those that don't know. And it's that that uh, obviously drives a fluorescent lamp, you know. So I'm, I'm going to have to strip that down now and uh, see if I can bend it back into shape without it dying. What do you say? Anyway, I'll. Uh, I'll. I'll, I'll uh, well, I'll, I'll have to edit that now, won't I? Director! Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I'm going to take you. And you can clearly see what's gone on. The mid, the middle space that I've left actually in there. And you can see it's been uh, catching here for whatever. So as it's been bending, it's getting lower and lower and it's been catching on top of ballast here, you know. So, uh, you don't want iron filings in the workshop. So our engineers will be removing those with a slightly damp cloth. The lamp is looking in a very, very sad state at the moment as it's dangling down with its legs, minding its own business. And uh, we've removed the springs because otherwise it wanted to go into a very strange position which it doesn't naturally live. This is its top mountain. Anyway, seriously, uh, luckily, uh, all we seem to have lost is one washer here. And, uh, and I thought that was threaded all the way through, but it isn't, it's just threaded at each end, you know, so uh, I'll have no trouble, love, I'll have no trouble straightening that. And we're, we're going to do that outside, on, on one of the steps outside, with a small lever hammer, okay? And then rolling it on the floor until we don't see it oscillating, okay? I will reveal the pile that I've made later on. Uh, director, director, uh, come on again. I'm here, I'm here. Go on, turn, 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 Right, so you can clearly see now I've cleaned it up a little bit with a slight damp cloth and you can see where it's been catching there. Now, I, I personally, looking at it, I honestly do, I think it's quite a poor design, lads. I, uh, it's that that's... Uh, uh, these, are the, these are the two persuaders that we used. The, some people call these hammers. Uh, they're, not, they're not hammers. They're persuaders. They're persuaders. Uh, and I've had that. I've had that since I was about 16. 
and I've got loads of different, I swear you one day I'm going to have to try and show you a lot of my tools because with me being in building trade and what have you and I've also done loads of different stuff in the building trade I'm not saying I'm skilled at all of the stuff probably very few but but I've done a lot of stuff you know from roofing to plastering to walling to all sorts as you do I used to work with a builder you see who were a proper builder he could build an house from ground up uh, and you know he were really excellent He's, he's moved now, he's in France, he's moved to France. But anyway, cut a long story short, I've had that since what, about 15. Quite sentimental to me, you see. So with the two persuaders, I've managed to get it into a reasonable state. Uh, but I've, I, I think this is too small in diameter. Uh, you know, uh, obviously lens purple, but it's too small in a bit of a kink there on the right hand side, isn't there, ever so slightly. But you can see there, right, you know, uh, it, here, here, and here, and here, and and that's where all these four jaws come together, i.e. Uh, these here, these here, and uh, and of course uh, all this lot here, and it's a bit of a bit of a poor design, I think, because of the size of the diameter of that 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 goes through it. It'd be much better if it were a better bolt, a, a, a bigger, heavier bolt. But now I know that. Um, and also I don't think this steel, this particular steel is very strong because it didn't take much persuading to get it back and uh, I, I'd have thought it would have been much more harder than what it were you know so uh, but I'm glad it didn't snap, I thought it snapped at one end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, instead of it just having this washer here I'm going to put some, uh, if there's enough space uh, coming out of length for each side, I'm going to put some spring washers at each side and I'm going to, I'm going to slightly grease the whole thing, just, just, I'm going to give all of that just a little bit of a lick of grease and then I'm going to try and get it under compression under a spring loaded idea at each side, you know, um, and also when I move it in future I shall be very, very, uh, it'll be in my brain all the time that that's a weak part and just to help it along, you know. Because um, sometimes I just grab it, you know, and I, you know. Anyway, so uh, we'll carry on. Director, do you have to come and keep coming in? Because you look stupid. Deep free and all that bollocks. You can stay away. Right. Cup of tea. I'll be back. Okay, lads, cut the edit crap. This is serious. Um, you can't get that into position. Uh, you just can't get that into position while it's in an upright state like this. It's going to have to be either taken completely off its mounting. You see, obviously a wire comes up here, front ballast, obviously. And uh, you can just see it coming out there and driving the lamp. So I've removed the lamp and the glass uh, so that if it does fall, because there's some weight on it, you know, once it's all clamped together, there's some weight, you see. And this, this, all of this arm wants to come down. Um, so if it does fall down while I'm doing this, at least I'm protecting that. And I can take a recording of the lamp it uses as well. You can see it's starter circuit here, look. And uh, transformer will be in there. Anyway, so I'm, I'll carry on. Right, on stripping it down further, I noticed that the uh, top bracket that slots into this and the two arms that come down to meet that, i.e. these two guys, the top mounting is also slightly bent and uh, that's causing it some problems when it gets very much to the bottom there's a, quite a few spaces that have to go in centre here uh, you know uh, like you see there at that side that slot into the top of housing here into that there which is of course spring loaded by these two guys <laughs> I tell you uh, I, I, I was saying to myself right at the beginning you know you should take it off the wall, but I didn't. Have, I don't have the long wire. That that had a right long wire with the plug on end of it, obviously. But it's wired into a junction underneath there. You can't see it, but there's a, a junction box up there which runs on the whole light circuit. Uh, there, that one there. Uh, so then, when I turn them on, all of these guys, if I need them, they just get powered up. You know, all of them. I.e. them and even that fella right over there. You know, if I want it, you know. And they're all movable, so I can move them all around. Um, where so, so like I said, this fire is, this fellow's wired directly in, like the rest. But it just so happens that all of these guys are all pluggable. I've made all of them pluggable, movable. They're all movable. That's why they have a long tailing lead. But they're all pluggable as well, 
Whereas this fella, because he stays there forever, he ain't pluggable. That's it, you know what I mean, eh? eh? Someone looking down on me. <laughs> so, uh, you can see where it's been really gouging in. Look at that. Not so long, not so long if I wouldn't have caught it, it'd have been cutting an hole in top of, top of that, wouldn't it? Ah, bloody hell. So anyway, here we go. And now testing my theory with my washers in place on the right hand side and on the left here I've soon run out of space <laughs> no way we can get that nut on there and if the shaft were just a little bit longer I might buy one for it <sighs> these things are here to test as you know folks and um, It'd really be nice if I could put some spring loaded at that side and at this side and then clamp it up and the whole thing would be... Oh, take 79. Okay, so you can see now the bottom unit now I've uh, managed to get up. And uh, we wash it up, we've managed to get some washers in there. <laughs> so I'll be, I haven't tightened it up yet of course because I've got to build it all back together now but uh, and uh, and put this in this is hardest thing here got all oil on my fingers getting this mountain in once it's spring loaded in <laughs> there's some talk on there and then it'll all be happening then at the top then to get this top mountain in that's where all compression will be <laughs> and poor little things uh, just looking a bit upset at the moment uh, with all its gummings out so that if it does because there's some talk on it and it wants to flip over I can't describe it like can't show you on camera what do you think I am an octopus right I'll move on well folks it's that it's that difficult to clamp it together I have to take the whole thing off and you better see my junction now I've just taken the top off it there uh, that's where it's wired in so I'm going to have to uh, you know, because it really, the it, it, whole know, thing would be better if it were all on the floor, you know, I can compress it better, so I have to move everything out of the way here, <laughs> so I can get to it, clamp and everything, because you just can't get to it at all, so uh, we're moving on, <laughs> you'll see what I mean now, uh, you see, as all that lot pivots like that, you know, and all this lot's pivoting up here, it's uh, <laughs> just as you move this, this fella here down here wants to move in a different direction. Hey, and, uh, and, and when top springs are in, are you from there down to mountain here? You know, because uh, there's two sets of springs up here, of course, and two sets of springs down here, and they all want to go where they want to go, not where you want them to go. And just, just shows you though, doesn't it? A small job like that turned out to be quite big. It's taking nearly an hour, it's going to take nearly an hour. And you see what I mean now about uh, uh, a, a good uh, way to have your lamp so that you can uh, make them, uh, you know, movable. You know what I mean? Right, anyway, carrying on. <clears throat> Even gets worse, folks. I've noticed that this bottom mountain part here is also slightly bent. Right, you can probably see it. But it, they're not symmetrical. They should be absolutely symmetrical then. And uh, and and also it will lose on the on the central part where it balances down here. Right. Oh, I'll just pan back a bit and you can see what I'm on about. <laughs> I've nearly rebuilt the bloody article, Anna. Uh, but uh, yeah, clamp screw will lose there. So so it's been you know you just don't I don't think you want any play in it really at all apart from where players meant to be in joints and elbows and what have you and you all these iron pilings here uh, are telling you uh, stuff are binding together aren't they so I'll give it another clean again and then uh, I'll try and go for a reassemble screws and washers and dials all over the place and they're all their own you know uh, they're all their own all these little grommets here and stuff you know for the bottom end caps <laughs> hey, I don't like do this, you know, when I was a kid, stuff like this, like like little challenges, you know. Here, it'd be nice to get that in kit form. Life's too short, though, isn't it? <laughs> I've got me me base back together now, all finger tight and straightened up, and you know, I've just uh, left me uh, me bolt in there uh, just to keep this central spacer in place. Another thing, notice, notice that when you put them together. The bent in middle, well, they're meant to be bent in middle. 
and of course you've only got you know a little hole there on that side and a little hole on that side for to top clamp for spring to go in right so they have to be create a little bit of space for that you got everything and if you don't put these in first right you'll never get them in <laughs> because of how they are the bolt goes through on inside of them so you have to slot them in as well it's all you know it's all you know <laughs> Bye, that took that took five minutes you can tell them but uh, i'm back together now not my springs into play they, 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 there's some tension on them you know you know to what i mean it's all look look at muck you see all that that's all iron filings that's somehow been disturbed what's been about in here uh, not to clean up buddy floor and all now and um uh, but i've got all my springs and what i've been in place everything's back together and there's no screws and washers that's left behind this is very important when you're pulling anything to pieces you should have no parts left behind okay uh I think that, I think I'm gonna have a, a brew now, and then I'll put it all in situ, and then I'll put all lamp back together. Bloody hell! What a carry on a a small repair that I thought would take three minutes. Bloody hell! And before putting all lamp back together and uh, lens and everything, I thought I, I thought I might as well give it a right good clean, including the lamp as well. Right, so with a new cup of tea. And I'll just get a recording of this number because I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna order one of them. Well, I'm gonna price one up anyway and see how much they cost. Imagine making that. I bet that's not an easy thing to make. That is it. Uh, for those that don't know, all there is is uh, is just an element at this side here and an element at that side, and the rest of it gets excited. Uh, you know, just same way as a fluorescent tube would. And it's the four connections. You know two foot coil at this side and two foot coil at that side <coughs> but uh, take some making what amazes me about simple stuff like that is when people say bloody hell the dear of them you know let's say it's five quid or whatever for that lamp or whatever it is someone will say well it's dear of them you try making one <laughs> I won't be able to make one of them if I spent the rest of my life trying to make it. I've got my glass clean now and I'm just going to give this a wipe inside because uh, I've got it all loose you see. So while it's all loose I'll get rid of its marks if it has any and uh, and fit it back together. Next time you see this it'll be back alive again. Right so I've just got to uh, I've just got to uh, fit me uh, fit all my stuff back together now that we're down in this area you know I always knew that I'd got plenty of cotton buds <laughs> they've all come from that area and that's because I keep buying them and then I don't know where I put them and they've all been hiding there there have been loads of them just hiding there and now I'm putting them back there but at least I know that they're there. <laughs> yeah, I'll get my speaker back. That was a bigger repair than I expected, but you can see my junction there again now. You know, and... Because uh, uh, they all, all them, you see, they all work on one circuit, do them? They're all fused at free amp. Right, so... Uh, uh, we're, all, we're all rolling again. I'm happy at that. I'm happy at that. Uh, it's your right, is that, folks. Right, that's an unusual video. You haven't had a video like that from me fixing a lamp, have you? Uh, director soon got bored, didn't he? He soon got bored. He soon got bored, did Director. I'll right, catch you in a bit, lads. All the best. The repair of the workshop.